Hey everyone, Ben Roto here again. Thanks for tuning in. Now, the story that we're going to be talking about today is that the Galaxy S9 sales aren't good. But before we get into that, I just wanted to let you guys know the game I'm playing today, and that's the original Castlevania on the NES. Now, let's get into the meat of this story. It's been probably three or four months since the Galaxy S9 was launched, and we're already hearing stories of doom and gloom. You know, I'm exaggerating, but I'm sure you want to know exactly what's going on. Well, the new Galaxy S9 isn't selling as well as the Galaxy S8, which in turn didn't sell as well as the S7. In fact, Samsung Galaxy S sales peaked with the Galaxy S4 at 80 million units, and no model has sold as good since. Now, that isn't because Samsung isn't making good phones. In fact, they are making really good ones. But the market itself for smartphones is slowing for the first point since its inception, and we've pretty much reached market saturation. Sure, there's some opportunities in countries that are, you know, up and coming, but it won't be as explosive as what we've experienced. Any country that has a GDP per capita to support mainstream smartphones already does. Moving on from that point, I don't think that this is really all that surprising. Smartphones just aren't that exciting anymore. We've pretty much found the best balance of features and form factor, and now it'll just be granular refinement for a long time. That is, unless Samsung does something really innovative and more importantly useful in their next phone, like a folding display. And I think if they do do that, it'll be a really great idea. I constantly feel torn between using my phone or my tablet, and if my phone could expand into a tablet form factor when I wanted to do more, I think that would be amazing. And if Samsung does something like that, and the cell phone sales still don't take off, then maybe we should talk. But the same thing happened with iPhone sales until the iPhone X. They were good, but they were slowing down. I think the S9 is a fantastic phone, even though it's not one I'd use. I wouldn't have a problem recommending it to anyone. I hope it does well though. As for innovation, I am really looking forward to the Galaxy Note 9 unveiling about a week from now, and I'll definitely be reporting on that. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think Galaxy sales are slowing for a different reason? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.